hey guys so Centroid Tech here and today in this video I'll be showing you how to download Kali Linux and make a bootable pen drive so first all you need to do is to go to your web browser and go to google there you have to type Kali Linux and then go to the first link And then here this is the official Kali Linux web page. Here uh, you have to go to downloads and just click on downloads. And here we'll have many options. So this is so depending upon your computer configuration you have to download. So this is the mini ISO. I would not recommend that because mini ISO uh, needs a very good uh, internet connection to run. So depending upon that, choose either 64 bit or 32 bit ISO. And so, and here you can either directly download the ISO in your web browser or you can use torrent. So as I have the 64 bit computer running, uh, I use torrent. And then open it with uTorrent or any other torrent downloader. And save it. So this is 2.7 gigs, so it will take quite a, quite a time to download. So after it finishes downloading, you will have uh, go to the downloaded file. So this is a this will be the folder, and when you open it, you will have a WinZip and another text file. Do not extract this. Just do not extract it. Then afterwards, uh, after you're done with it, uh, just go to Google again and type Rufus R U F U S bootable USB. So go to the first link again, and then here you'll have. So this is the website, and then scroll down, and then. Uh, you can download it here then just the 615 kbps then so after you have downloaded open it so it will be a rufus so using this software you can basically create an iOS you can create a bootable USB of the ISO file so uh, now as you have downloaded the Kali Linux ISO and you have Rufus, go uh, connect your pen drive and I would prefer a 8 GB pen drive. Go to your downloads folder or place where you have downloaded Rufus and search for it and run the program. Now select uh, select your pen drive here, I have already selected it as Kali Live and go down and you will have this thing create a bootable disk check it and select here ISO image and click this button here and go to the folder where you have downloaded Kali Linux and as you and just select the uh, WinZip file that was downloaded and click open and press start so here now it's just gonna give you a warning that all the data on the pen drive will be destroyed so just if you have any important data just back it up and click ok and so now as you can see uh, the status bar here so here it is going to take quite a lot of time to finish installing it successfully so I'll just pause the video and so as now you can see that the bootable pen drive has been created the green bar is full so thus you have now created a bootable pen drive named Kali Linux and you can close this and then when you go to C drive, you'll have this and 4.83 GB might be free. So now you have this Kali Linux pen drive and thus you have successfully created it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.